do, do, do. Oh, hello there. Oh, I'm just off to deliver all these leaflets to all the other caravans. It's Mr. Slater's new money-making scheme. It's a pizza delivery service, so it's another busy day for me. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the finest fashion show in the world. And now we're about to see my new autumn collection. No, oh, Sotty! What have you done to her? Beards and boots indeed. Get it off! <laughs> and now, our next lady, who I'm told will be out of this world! <laughs> sweep! Sweep, what are you doing? <laughs> She's out of this world? Yes, but painting her green to make her look like an alien is not what I wanted, you toasty dog. <laughs> and now, <clears throat> the grand finale of the Sue Collection. Please welcome one of the most beautiful women in the world, modelling stunning swimwear. <laughs> oh, a gorilla in a bikini! You two boys, you just don't take fashion seriously. Unlike my hero. Look, look, Valentino du Prado, world famous fashion designer. Oh, if only I could be like him. Well, we're open for business. Oh, that could be an order now. Hello, Slater's Pizza Deliveries. Oh, Mr. Slater. Yes, the telephone lines are now open. They better be quality pizzas or I'll get the sack. But... Oh, he's gone. Ooh. Actually, I'm not worried, because I have hired two fantastic Italian chefs to cook the pizzas. Oh, yes. Only Signor Sottini and his assistant, Sweet Pacino. They should be here any minute now. <coughs> oh, no. It's you, is it? <coughs> You're experts. Experts. Well, I hope you two know what you're doing. God, now, where's my pizza delivery girl? Sue! Sue! Oh, oh, oh you look really nice in your uniform. Huh. No, I don't. I'm a disaster, darling. I mean, look at this hat. It's so last year. I can design a much better outfit. If you'd just like to look at my fashion magazine, then I can show... Sue, maybe later. Right now, you've got a very important job. You've got pizzas to deliver! What can be more important than fashion? Humph! Now, boys, let's get this straight. Do you actually know how to work this pizza-making machine? <laughs> Would I like a demonstration? <laughs> Go on, then. Impress me. Hello, Slater's Pizza Deliveries. One ham and pineapple, certainly, sir. You better get making the pizzas, Sooty. Oh, uh, hello, Slater's Pizza Deliveries. Six pepperonis. Sooty, you better get making those pizzas as quick as you can. Oh. Hello, Slater's Pizza Deliveries. Oh, three Hawaiians. Oh, Sooty, you better get busy. <laughs> Getting up? You're supposed to be putting the pizzas in the boxes! <coughs> Sausage brain! We can't use those now, sweet. We'll just have to make some more. Sooty, we've just had an order for another 12 pizzas! Oh, no! Hello, Slater's Pizzas Delivery. What? Four ham and pineapple? <laughs> quick, Sooty, get a move on! We need those pizzas double quick! Hello, Slater's Pizzas Delivery! What's that? Four meat feasts? Yes, no problem! Hello, Slater's Pizzas Delivery! Six chicken specials and a veggie. A fire messer. Hello? Thanks for delivery. Hello? Hello? Can I show you my fashion ideas for our uniforms, please? Not now, Sue. We've got lots of pizzas to deliver. Oh. Boys, don't do that. I want 
Even Valentino de Prado has to put up with anything like this. <laughs> Hello, Valentino speaking. I know you want to know where I am, but I, I not tell you. I cannot take the pressure no more. Uh, I come on holiday to come away from the fashion world. No, no, I not tell you. You will never find me. They will never find me here. so they don't get cold. Oh, what's this then? It's a super fast pizza delivery machine. Well, how does it work? Ooh. This is very interesting. for six pizzas at Caravan 34. for it. I'll have to do it myself. Right, uh, what do we need? Uh, sausages? That'll be good. Cheese, very important for a pizza. Tomato, there we are. Oh, let's just put it all in. Right, here we go. Let's get busy. <laughs> Mamma mia! These are incredible! I must find out who make of this. Um, why is that? They are fantastico! <gasps> Look, I think going to be a real hit this season. I think a real must. A must? More like a thin crust. <gasps> Wait a minute! I don't believe it! You're Valentino du Prado. Shh, 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 shh. This is not important. I must find out who is the designer of this beautiful hat. Oh, uh, <laughs> it is you. There is no doubt about it, young lady. You have a big future in the world of fashion. Ooh. I don't know what's wrong with this pizza machine. Maybe I've not put enough ingredients in. That could be it. Because you can never have too much of a good thing. <laughs> right. Now let's really crank it up. Magnifico! These are fantastic! I think these had to be a real sensation! Hooray! I said I'd be an international fashion designer one day! Oh, Sue, I, I love the hat. Such a great design. But uh, I think the suit uh, is too much. Suit? What suit? I didn't make a suit! Oh, oh, looks like dinner's on rich! <laughs> It'll look like he could use a little uh, pizza and a choir, huh? huh? Oh, 
it's the phone. It's Mr. Slater. Hello, Mr. Slater. Oh, don't worry, sir. The party will be a success. If I don't keep the children laughing, I'll get the sack. But... Oh, he's gone. Oh, well, I'm not too worried. Sue's out now delivering the invitations. Come to our party. There we are. Would you like to come to our party? Here we are. A party invitation. <laughs> Wow, these balloons look lovely, Sooty. The children are going to love these. Should we blow some more up? We've got to stretch them first. Oh, I see. Well, I'll tell you what, then. I'll hold the balloon and you give it a little stretch. Apparently, you have to stretch the balloon. Ow! <laughs> Oi! Don't let it go on my fingers. Just give it a little stretch. You're stretching it far too much, then. Don't do that. He was stretching it far too much. Sooty, I can see you doing it. Do you think I'm an idiot? Just give it a little stretch. Stretching it far too much. <laughs> stretching it. Ow! <laughs> right, you're no, giving me it back, Sooty. Give me it back. Sooty, no, no, you're not doing it. Sorry, but you're not, Sooty. You're not doing it. Just let go of it. Ow! <laughs> All right, Smarty Pants. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just take some of the balloons that are already blown up and put them up somewhere nicely. Now maybe. <laughs> Don't let go of them. I'll have to blow it up again now. Hold on to it nicely and we'll find somewhere really nice we can put it up in the room. Maybe a... <laughs> Have I been eating beans? No, I have not been eating beans. Sooty keeps letting go of all the balloons. I, I tell you what, look, we'll let Sweep hold on to this one and don't let it go, Sweep. <laughs> You've got a picture frame over your head. Look, why don't you go and make yourself useful and go and pour out the orange juice? The children will be here soon. Go on, hop it. I wonder how Sue's getting on with the invitations. Here's a party invitation. Lovely to see you. Here's a party invitation. Oh, thank you. Now listen, the children will be here very soon, so we need to get all the games ready. This is one of my favourites. It's called Stick the Tail on the Donkey. <laughs> That's it, stick the tail on the donkey. <laughs> what happens is you have to wear a blindfold and then whoever can get the tail on the donkey wins. Uh, why don't we have a little practice? Who wants to go first? Um, Sooty, we'll let Sweep go first, all right? <laughs> There's a blindfold for you, Sooty. Here's one for you, Sweep. Let's just pop it on. There we are. Now, no peeping. Okay, okay. No peeping. <laughs> Here's the tail. Right, do your best. <laughs> do your best. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't hold out much hope for old sausage brain, but we'll give him a go, eh? <laughs> oh, oh, uh, well, you're not supposed to stick it there, you nitwit. You great big Wally, you're not supposed to stick it there. 
It's all right. Let's let Sooty have a go. You can do it. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, is it now? Go on then. Let's see it, clever clogs. Wow, Sooty. You're certainly very close. I've... <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. That's fantastic, Sooty. Take a bow. You're not supposed to have a hole in the blindfold. Hey, it's the children! The children! <laughs> hey! Hello, Kitty Winks! And welcome to your very own... <laughs> Looks like we've got a party full of gate crashers. <sighs> This isn't going too well. So, boys and girls, are you having a good time? Oh, um, how about some magic? You're going to need some magic. <laughs> uh, the vanishing cracker trick. I take the cracker, place it in my hand, sprinkle on the magic dust, and it's gone. <laughs> what do you think? Rubbish! <laughs> um, the wiggly rope trick. <laughs> You'll like this. Prepare to be amazed. What do you think? It's like a party on the moon. There's no atmosphere. Oh. Look, if Richard doesn't make this party a success, Mr. Slater will sack him. What's it? Oh, good idea! How about a game of musical statues? Yeah! Uh, I'm just about to do my disappearing banana trick. Richard, if you do that, you'll make the boys and girls disappear. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> Who knows how to play musical statues? <laughs> You're an expert. Well, we'll soon see. OK, everybody, you know the rules. As soon as the music stops, you all stand as still as a statue. Got it? Yes, yes Right, let's that. go. Sweep! Sweep! Sweep, stop dancing! You're supposed to stop when the music stops. Yes, when the music stops. Right, let's start again, everybody. Sweep! 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 Sweep, stop dancing! You're supposed to stop when the music stops. When the music stops, you freeze. All right? Here we go again. So you stop when the music stops? Yes, Sweep, you stop when the music stops. Ooh, it's the phone. It's Mr Slater. Hello, Mr Slater. What's that? My children's party must be a success because you can hear all the children laughing. Just keep the children laughing. I certainly will, sir. Oh, he's gone. Did you hear that? My party's a success. Maybe I should do some more magic. Uh, no, no, I mean, uh, let's play another game, Richard. Let's play Pin the Tail on the Donkey. Yeah! Oh, OK, then. <laughs> That's right, Richard. Just keep the children laughing. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. Oh, hello there. Mr. 
later has asked us to run his new restaurant. And we're just expecting a delivery of fresh fish. Excuse me, look at my face. Well, what are you going to do about it? Don't do that! If you don't mind, I'm expecting a fresh fish delivery from the fishmonger. Oh no, it's you two, is it? You're experts. Well, where's the fish? If you haven't caught any yet, well, why not? Because Sweet got up late. Well, didn't you set your alarm clock? He turned it off. Why did you turn it off? <coughs> it wakes you up. Look, today is a very important day for our five-star restaurant, Chez Su, because the very important restaurant critic, Maxine Gastro, is coming here for lunch, and she's a very close friend of Mr Slater's. So if she doesn't get a nice fresh fish to eat, I'm going to get the sack. You'll go and catch some? Well, have you got any bait? <coughs> What's that for? <coughs> Catfish. <coughs> What's that for? <coughs> Tuna. Don't tell me. Soul. Hey, sweet, be careful. Oh, it's Mr. Slater. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, what's that? Mrs. Castro's going to be here any minute. If she doesn't get five star service, I'll get the sack. Well, I... Oh, he's gone. Oh, no. It's Mrs. Castro. She's early. Uh, quick. Take this walkie-talkie and contact me as soon as you catch a fish. Well, go on, go, quick, quick. There we are, my good man. Mrs. Gastro, <laughs> welcome to Shay Sue. <laughs> Please enter. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 Mrs. Gastro, you're right. I'm so sorry. Oh, Mr. Slater will hear about this. Oh, the food had better be good. I fancy a nice piece of fish. Oh, so do I. Just uh, make yourself at home and Sue will welcome you. <laughs> standing next to me. It's me, Sue. I'm right here. Wait a minute, Sue. What do you mean it's me, Sue? I'm right here. 
Oh, <laughs> jolly well get that fish order very quickly. Where's the waiter? He he he! I think Mrs. Gastro's ready to order, Richard. <laughs> I'll be right with you, Mrs. Gastro. <laughs> um, how may I be of service, madame? Tell me, is there any fish on the menu today? Uh, uh, that's a very good question. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! Did you know that rock salmon is a dogfish? It happens to be one of my favourites. <coughs> oh, so I'm very partial to a nice soul. Have you any soul today? Uh, I'll have to find out for you, Mrs. Gastro. Or do I have to phone Mr. Slater? Uh, no, uh, one soul coming up. It had better be. Oh, don't worry, Mrs. Gastro. Your soul won't be too long. In the meantime, do have some more bread. Merci beaucoup. Oh, bless you. I'll get you a tissue. Hello, hello. Come in. Can you hear me? Oh. Hello. Hello. Oh, don't just say hello. Say something. Something. Have you caught anything? Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. Sweep, we need a soul. Is it a soul? Mm. <sighs> Have you caught lots? Mm. Lots and lots. Mm. Well done. We'll bring everything you've caught to the restaurant. Mm. Yes. Everything and hurry up. Mm. Where's my soul? It's on its way, Mrs. Castro. Meanwhile, is there anything else I can get for you? Uh, 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 have some more bread. Bread? More bread. Some bread? Expecting it any minute, Mrs. Castro. Oh, it's just arrived! This I have to see! Aha, these are our exclusive fishmongers, Sooty and Sweep. Have you got my fish? Sooty, show Mrs. Castro her soul. What is the meaning of this? I don't want the soul of an old boot! Sooty, where's the fish? <laughs> What do you mean, what fish? You didn't catch any fish. You didn't catch any fish? You didn't catch any fish? <laughs> they didn't catch any fish. <laughs> well, what did you catch? Mm. Hold on a minute. Oh, no. I expect you're going to phone Mr Slater. Oh, indeed I am. I must have lost my purse when I tripped over getting out of the taxi and your two worthy fishermen, Sotty and Sweep, have found it and returned it safely to me. <coughs> Indeed you have. <coughs> I must phone Mr Slater and tell him what a brilliant restaurant this is. Oh, well done, boys. <coughs> yes, top job, Sooty. <coughs> What's for dinner? <coughs> well, there's no fish. Oh, what a shame. But as a reward, I am treating you all to fish and chips. I know a brilliant chippy. Come on. <laughs> now that is what I call the perfect fish in the perfect batter. <laughs> Bread, anyone? Oh, Sue! <laughs> Pass the bread, please, Sooty. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Now Richard's just like our fish. Well and truly battered. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.